pretty sure this is highly illegal to do anything with this. I just hope that we don't get in trouble. What are you doing? You're doing nothing. We have to do what we have to do. No, you don't. You don't have to do anything. All right, Misha, what do we got planned for tonight? Four days. We have three working days to get this side of the house ready for Pella, which is a big window company that we've partnered up with for our channel to work with to replace all of our windows. Our house is nowhere near ready for it, so we have to at least... What are you talking about? So we have to at least make something ready for them to be here and kind of highlight their windows and stuff. To prep this to, yeah, yeah for, on this side of the house. This window is going to get bigger because that garage is going to be converted into an like a, a finished yeah. space. This window's gone. This window's gonna be gone. So we have to add a small kind of, what, what's a half moon? Yeah, it's like a half moon window. I have this funny transition I wanna do. I've been doing a lot of those clap transitions. So I think it'd be funny if I did a transition where it's like for this video, like where I wanna show how we reframe the window. Like we have to strip down this. All this, that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think it'd be funny if I was like, right? And then all this stuff is stripped. Okay. But it'd be funny if I go and then I'm in my boxers. And then it's like you're the wrong clap. You're right. stripped. And it's like, oh no. And then it's and then <laughs> and then you clap again, I'm dressed. This is stripped. It's like that funny. is kinda of funny. That'd be a good one. What's up, B? How we doing? What's up? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Look. Like. Our garage is no longer gonna be a garage. We're gonna convert it into like a bonus room. What is the width of our pantry? Oh, Not the, the window, the, the whole entire way? pantry, yes. Well, it doesn't, okay. From there to there, what is that width? It doesn't, it's seven feet, two inches. Perfect. Just what you had in mind. <laughs> All I'm saying is the, the... I will teach you how to do no, this No, no, stuff. what did you teach? I'll tell you the center of this window. All the way to the end. I'm gonna break some bad news to you in a second, but I'll let you ride this wave for a little bit. 178 <laughs> divided by two. <laughs> Hey Siri, what's 178 divided by 2? 178 divided by 2 is 89. We'll cut this out. So 178 divided by 2 is 89. <laughs> so this is not what's going to happen. But all it should do 89 is the center of this room now. Is mm. it not? Wow. Is it not? Okay. Well, no. Yeah, 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 sure. Is this window not centered in the room? If it's not, I'd like to know why. Well, I guess why not? I think you should just trust. Well, there's the fake world, and then there's the real world. I think you just trust that Catherine knows what she's doing. Okay. Go to the center of the room. Let's let's see the, your measurement. Center of the room. Bang. Oh! Seven feet. Oh! No, 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 oh! No, 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 Zoom no. in. Look at the little dot. No, no. Seven feet. That doesn't matter. Seven what feet. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Seven feet, four inches. Seven four feet, six feet, inches on this side. Four feet, six inches on this side. Seven That's feet, the window. four inches is 88. Misha. Misha. I'm an inch off because I'm doing it on a software and you're doing it in real world. Okay, so I'm saying 89. Okay, uh, but, what I'm but saying is... But is it not 89? Yeah, shh. What is this window? Time. Let's get the window. We're going to go grab the window. I threw my back out two weeks ago now. It's a week and a half ago. One of the most... Hey, I'll show you actually the beam I was lifting. So this was a 20-foot PSL beam that probably weighed like 400 pounds. We were lifting it, trying to carry it to the car. I was setting it. Boom! The worst pain I've ever felt in my life. I'm trying to like, then I was installing a glass door, threw it out again two days ago. So now like it's just aching. So we're going to take it easy because on Tuesday again, when Pella, no, Wednesday's when we're actually installing the windows on the videos, I actually have to be able to lift those up. Too heavy for you. Why you moves at like the speed of light? That's going to be our window. At least half an inch of room on both sides to give you a room for a little adjustment, spray foam, all that stuff. We're going to add an inch. So this is the width that we're going for. This is 57 three quarters. We'll just go 59. So it's going to be a little heavier, but so 59. Yeah, that's fine. Spray foam, it's going to be fine. So 59 divided by two, <laughs> it's we'll going to be 29, and 29 and a half. So our rough opening it's 59 by 42. That's what we need to uh, frame out. We're adding two inch foam to the outside of the house to have a continuous insulation. Which... Hey, hey. We're adding two inch foam to have continuous insulation because right now we're a two by four, two by four wall, which is not enough insulation no matter how you do it, even with spray foam. So we'll add two inch insulation to the front of it and it will make this whole thing basically a two by six wall. So 
So this is that insulation that we are talking about. We partnered up with AMC Foam. Insulation is that it will provide you continuous insulation on your entire house, but it's breathable. You see that there's little holes in it. So it has the R value and insulation value, but it will not kind of just create this suffocating envelope where a lot of the times uh, you will kind of end up with mold inside your walls. So this does have a little bit of that vapor um, it's, it's able to breathe. Yes, that's that's basically what that means. Okay, so we have we have this video of just this project. Then we have insulation video, and we have your spray foam boxer video. I'm just I saying think like we should we, call it a croissant. A croissant. A croissant. A croissant. <laughs> right? A croissant okay. window. You have to say like you can't say croissant. I think in an, uh, or a uh, chalupa. No, no. What, what do you call those? Oh, um, we just gyro. Had, uh, no, oh, um, we just had empanadas. A, empanada. It's the empanada. <laughs> empanada video. Also, shout out to Little Giant. This platform here, I forget what it's called. This platform. This platform here is one of the best things that I've received from a brand. Just putting this up there and being able to just walk back and forth, super helpful in general. So, all right, let's start working on this. And then I think I do want to do the, the strip. I think it'll be funny. I just got to figure out how to hide the bulge. So, I mean, are we gonna, are we gonna dissect what's just happened? Are we gonna talk about this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right again with especially with, with like these uh instagram tiktoks facebook's it's all about the first couple of seconds so here's what we kind of have going on so go kind of like this there <laughs> clap again and then i'll clap again and then we'll strip get it cat do you get it i get it strip the wall so it's just such a I should have had a dollar tuck, tucked in. Oh, oh god, that would have been something. That would have been good. That would have been good. Like strip. <laughs> for the hey, we're All having, for the we're, we're having fun. Yes, there. we are. <laughs> what is it? Fifty percent skin that's inappropriate, or how does it work? I didn't know there was a percentage. So the statistics for this? What? Yeah. What are you getting this from OnlyFans yeah. or something? Depending Whoa. on the church, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. All okay. right. Done. So the biggest thing that is kind of highly illegal is this this guy right here this meter because basically everything that goes into the meter the town owns so and the meter itself you're not allowed to touch it that's what like this tag is here and everything everything after the meter is what the homeowner owns it's in the way for us so that's a big problem so we would remove that but i'm just saying there's nothing we can do about this box so there's two options either because we have to do this whole wall so we can either work literally around it and then once they come, because they're coming in two weeks, they're going to put this two on a post out. right here. There'll be a post. It's called a float. A float. They will put that on the float and kind of disconnect that and then attach to the house. But again, we have that hella people coming uh, next week. <laughs> you know, it'd be funny, Kat, if every video we like, we're teaching the English. A word. Just word or, or, or a like phrase. Yeah, yeah. Fine, like, I'm gonna pay today and Monday. Maybe. Oh, here, I guess here's the, the hey, word yeah. word of the salary. Salary is zarplata. 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 Zarplata, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but say salary. Salary. Sal salary. English. Salary. Yeah. Zarplata. Okay. Salary. Cool. Salary. <laughs> word, that's our Ukrainian word, word of the, the day, oh, the day here. So I'm pretty sure this is highly illegal to do anything with this. I just hope that we don't get in trouble. What are you doing? You're doing nothing. We have to do what we have to do. No, you don't. You don't have to do anything. You think you're so cool slicking on these gloves like you're... You get out of here. You cut this perfectly straight line. I have a particular line. set of skills. <laughs> hey, Dexter. This? We'll touch it for now. All right, so we'll V's it. got, he's, he's got his sledgehammer. <laughs> and... For what we had, it was never really that cold. Okay. I never felt like a draft. So that's kind of impressive. We gotta take that little piece of strapping at the top. Get your gloves. The crowbar. Get your gloves. Crowbar? Pry bar. Pry bar. Crow crow bar is the big one. Okay. This side. Yeah. If we... Nope. There's no. That's just no. We could literally just have this. Yeah, it looks kind of tacky. So then what, what, what's the point of even cutting this? 
then there is no point, I guess. So usually when you do this type of stuff, you should be doing some like bracing walls and things like that. But realistically, there's no snow load. We're only taking out a couple of these. We're taking out this entire middle here. I'll be all right. I could pretend that I know all of this stuff, but. You don't. I don't. So literally Chad GPT. How do you frame a 58 inch wide window? How many jack studs do you need? And what size header? We live in New Hampshire, just for the code purposes. Let's see what Chat GPT says. The jack studs typically need one jack stud on each side of the window, which supports. Since your window is 58 inch wide, two jack studs, one on each side should be sufficient. Two jack studs, one on each side. However, if your window is significant, significantly heavy or you're in a high load area, which we're not, you might consider two jack. So we're fine with one jack stud. Header size, uh, a common, Recommendation for 58 inch window is a double two by 10 or two by 12 header. Um, this assumes that the header will be supported single story roof. So two by 10 will be fine. Two by 12 is- Did uh, Jack name those studs? <laughs> yeah. Do you want a credit for those? That's some Jack. Um, given New Hampshire snow load consideration, a two by 12 header might be a safer choice, especially if you have more than one story above. We, we don't. don't so so like literally like it's cool because chat gpt like with the ai of it it does notice that you're saying new hampshire so it knows that there's a snow load so we're gonna go with the two by ten which is oh what if we, what if that's how we do our thing at the top there cat so that could be our header which is the big beam yeah at the top and then our window would go right underneath it so if we lower this we'll end up with like these little jack studs or cripples they're called about like five inches so if we go, let's say five inch cripples, which is these little guys at the top, then we'll go a two by 10, which is nine and a half inches. So our window- uh, Lowered it by how much? Two inches. Oh, look, you got your wish. Two inches does make a difference. Just hits the spot. Oh, we'll do that. So when you build your header, usually you do it out of two two by 10s, at least for our purposes based on the chat GPT. But if I do two two by 10s, that's three inches. So I, you have this half an inch awkwardness. People usually fill that with just random plywood. Plywood has no R value. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a two a half inch piece of uh, my waterproofing, which basically is insulation. It's it's expand high, it's a high density foam. It has R value to it. And I'm going to put that inside our header, basically get exactly the dimension that I need. And what that will do is create that thermal break even more. Because what sucks is you ha we're gonna have this massive header up top over here. We're gonna have this huge header that has basically no insulation. Yeah, we're gonna add that a half inch outside, but now with a little bit of like, we're just trying to break that up. So then there'll be less insulation. This gets deleted. So we've removed a huge amount of studs here. Probably not safe and I wouldn't recommend doing this, but there's no snow on there and like just a garage, there's no second floor. That would have been a little more like, I feel okay with this. Then we have our jack stud. And then next to it is going to go our king stud. So I need to go three inches, which will be right there. And that is where our first stud is going to go. Then next to it is going to go our jack stud, which is going to be kind of in the middle. And then we're going to kind of work with our header. So right now we'll go and we're reusing all of these because why not? So I'll put that in and then we'll kind of start working our way back, get our jack studs or king studs, jack studs, build our header and then kind of move forward that way. We set for the, the little guys, which will be all our little. What do you call them? They're called cripples. Cripples. Okay. So for my two jacks, we'll go 85, 3 eighths, 85, Three eights. I gotta start wearing a tool belt, man. That'll go right there. My back is just like, uh, it's just aching. I feel it's not good. It's not. I should be better now. Out of nails. Oh my goodness gracious. Giving me unloaded nail guns, Catherine. Stop. What are you trying to do? I want you to shoot the nails. Yeah, but what are you trying to do with this no, button? I want you to shoot the nails. You were just You're doing acting that. like you know what you're like, like how this works. <laughs> not, you and I, I both had, have no idea how this gun works. Shoot, shoot. Jesus. What do you mean? Huh? Thank you. Thank you very much. 
We went to uh, Lowe's yesterday to kind of find the fridge that we're going to have. So a weird thing we're gonna have inside our house is that this will be our pantry, massive pantry. I mean, it's basically seven feet. It's like a little bedroom. Seven feet by, by 11 feet, massive pantry. And that's because our kitchen is very small. So inside this pantry, We'll have a fridge in here and then a row of cabinets. So a lot of the storage and things like that is gonna be inside our inside of the pantry itself and the fridge. Cause inside the house, anywhere we put the fridge is just gonna look like a massive fridge that's just in the way. So our wall that we were working on yes or that we fit, figured out yesterday is going to be there. And that that's that room. Our fridge is 36. So I'm gonna go 36 and a half because of the drywall inside here. So that's where the door, that's the, where the, door the doors of the fridge. Yes, that's the fridge. Closed. Yep. That's the center of the empanada. Of the empanada window. Okay, yeah. cool. That way. Right, won't that, like, that makes sense, right? Oh, we're doing the right thing. Like putting it centered with the fridge. The fridge is never gonna move. We're not gonna relocate the fridge. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be like, oh, we're gonna change the location of the fridge. Otherwise, if you center it on the room, the fridge is almost going to be touching it. Yes. So when you walk in and that, that door, because the front door is going to be right across. Correct. It will look weird not to have that center. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be fridge. centered on this, this strip of hallway, essentially, not... Yeah. Okay. At the end of the day, you do what you want, because it's our own house do, and it kind of... do what I want. So we're still going to do the same thing. King studs, jack studs, and then the window's going to go on. I still don't get why there's no queens. Huh? The queens up, guys. are pointing fingers and just telling them what to do and what to hold. Like there's hold kings this and jacks and there's hold no this header, header. So this is an electric tool to find circuit breakers. We'll go here because I gotta cut this whole thing out. So I'll put this in. You see that it works. You can press this and trip the circuit breaker, which I guess is not working. Or we're gonna go to our circuit breaker here and then I'll press this. Bang. See, like, look at that. So that's the one. So now, so now that's turned off, we can go ahead and cut that out. And then, uh, we'll, I mean, all of this is gonna get new electrical, but, so we can go ahead and cut this out. It's gonna leave us like a little thing like that if we don't. There are not two by sixes in there. They're all two by fours. We don't have two by sixes. That's kind of annoying. Only if I run out to Middleton, Catherine could work on cleaning the stuff up inside. Okay, so while we're framing on the outside in the garage, Vine is taking out all the ceiling in here, which is great. Um, this ceiling actually in this room and then what will be the kitchen will actually be raised, which is very exciting. Um, but then the rest is just gonna be new insulation, new drywall, but um, the amount of mouse poop that has fallen in this ground is like disturbing. It's like a thing in New Hampshire. If you don't have mice droppings in your house, like you're considered lucky. Part of this weekend, we're gonna be cleaning this all up so that we can prep so that, cause this entire wall here, if you can see like these windows all the way down, this whole wall is gonna come off cause these are the windows we are like kind of focused on for our Pella project. What is this though? This is, looks huge. This is the smallest like decent option there. Everything I else like- I think it's like, good that it's big. It might help your back. I know, but like all the other ones like straight up look, look like- you're like getting ready for uh, what are those things in the south, the ranch? Fights. Raw! <laughs> but the other ones, they have like backpacks on the side. Basically. What is this like, for? Just like a bag, uh, and a, a bag, hammer? and a bag. So it's like. Is that a hammer? I know. It's like I'd rather just reload whatever I need for the task versus like. Hammer. You can put your little I don't know your what box cutter for. in here. I think it's a hammer. I think so. Or try to, try to put this, the Senko nail gun on there. So let me talk you through kind of how I'm doing it. See, our, every window has a king stud, which goes from your bottom plate to your top plate, okay? Then you have your jack stud, which holds your header. And then you have your cripple that's on the side that holds your window sill and your window and all that stuff. But instead of me building this up on the wall, what I'm gonna do right now is basically measure everything out and cut it together. So for me, this is my king stud right at the bottom. This is my jack stud. The header is going to go here and I'm gonna use a two by six header because it's such a small window and there's no second floor load or anything like that. The window opening is 15 three quarters. So then right here is what we're going to have. This now will be my cripple. You wanna help me, Levy? Come over here. Make those boards touching each other like this. You see how daddy has it flat like this? Can you push it inside? Oh, right there. Does that look good? 
Okay, ready now, I'm gonna nail this in. Okay, and then we're gonna line it up over here. You got it? Here, walk over to that side. Here, go for it, go for it, go, 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 go. We'll get around. Good job. We'll go right here. Like that. Now we're gonna line this up perfectly. Cool. And then we gotta do the same thing for the other side and then we can start assembling our header and then our plates. Thirty-three quarts. Just wrong. Huh? I just made a mistake. Come on. You made, you made a mistake. I don't know. You feel like you, you you got it all figured out, and then you put it all up there, and it makes no sense. So I hope now. I didn't, I didn't screw up the header as well that much. needs to shift over. I put so many nails into it. Um, what we're missing is a stud. So the entire construction process, basically, you have to be 16 inches on the center. So we're 16 right there, 16 right there. So I gotta put a new stud there. We're gonna go 16 and then it just has to continue. So right there has to be a cripple, right there, there has to be a cripple, and then same thing on the at the top. So I have to add two cripples right here so that the 16 on center works out. And then I'll just use my laser. And then I'll get the two cripples up top over there also. That's it. So our framing is done here for this empanada window or this half moon window or the pierogi yeah, window. Yeah, you know what? It should be You guys be let pierogi. us know in the comment if it's a pierogi, empanada, half moon. Someone said pierogi and we're kind of embarrassed we didn't think of it I know, with our Ukrainian roots. Shame. Um, it's a shame. So this is how that framing will look like. And this is what the window inside of there will look like. And what's cool again is like you kind of install this from the inside and then like you get it to where it's gotta go. It's got those little flanges there that will kick out. So once we get outside there, it's gonna look really good. Huh? Yeah, I wanna show you guys those little flaps. So it's got these flaps on the outside. Yeah, there you go. It's kind of nice that they click so then you know you're reassured that they <laughs> yeah. like. And then when we're taping it, because we gotta tape all of this, we're gonna tape towards this rubber gasket right here and then that and will then be done. And then they just kind of fold down too. So for our intents and purposes, this side of the garage is all done. We still gotta do a bunch of stuff on that side, but we're not there yet. So for us, this is done. Now we're gonna move on and work on the rest of the house. We should say like, and that's our diary. Or how do you close out a diary? Because these, these are renovation Love diaries. Love Catherine. That's, <laughs> that's how I used to spend my diary in high school. Love Catherine XO, to yourself? XO, yeah. So I'm writing so. to myself. And that's our that's our journal entry. And that's our that's our, and that's our that's, entry. That's our <laughs> Yeah, you guys. gotta you gotta think of something better.